If you're like me, you gotta act like that SpongeBob episode where he forgets his name tag and replaces, retraces all of his steps and then realizes that his pants are on backwards. Obviously, I have a bad memory, but what part of my memory is lacking? First, some context. There are three types of memory. Working memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Working memory is only used while you're working and processing information. For example, if I read a sentence like, Jimmy drinks draft tea with chicken nuggets on Tuesdays. Use your working memory to connect the beginning of the sentence to the end so you can understand it. Next, probably the most confused type of memory, it is short-term memory. Some people think that lasts for minutes, even hours, but it only really lasts for about 30 seconds. Short-term memory basically remembers something until the rest of your brain decides what to do with it. Long-term memory is also often confused, mostly because of the name. A few minutes doesn't seem like a long time but it can be the span of long-term memory. But remember something permanently, or at least semi-permanently. If you still want to strengthen your short-term memory, there isn't really anything you can do to strengthen your short-term memory itself. Besides like eating right, getting more sleep, etc. That's because it strengthens your overall brain health. On the other hand, you can strengthen your long-term memory in many ways, but there's still a way to put your short-term memory to good use. You just have to use your visual memory which is self-explanatory. You're probably thinking, Ryan, you're dumb. I already use visual memory. But, and you do. But you probably don't exploit it. To exploit it, you need to first use a place that you know top to bottom for like Davis or something. Then somewhere in your, let's say, math classroom, you remember the first 10 digits of high. This method works surprisingly well. And some memory champions can make memory cities which have thousands of loci, which are the things you want to remember. The only drawback is that it's hard to use the same place for something else. For example, when you get to Algebra 1, if you want to use the same spot to memorize the quadratic formula, which is x equals negative b is perpendicular to the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. What? <laughs> which I'll have to memorize this year, which sucks. But you can also use this memory method to stop forgetting things like a water bottle or in my case, my script. You can do this by picking a place to put your water bottle in your mind, like water fountain or something. Before you go to school, you mentally walk through the place that you choose. Like, mentally walk through the school. And then, like, you'll walk past the water mountain and be like, hey, you have my water bottle. Anyways, there's a lot of short-term benefits, but long what are the long-term benefits of using this method? Wait, sorry, wrong page. advantage of this memory exploit. It'll help you now and in the future. Yay, exchange. Wait, what was your other business?